All right, today's guest is widely recognized as the most influential street skater in the history of the sport. He invented many, if not most, of the tricks used today, including the street ollie, kickflip, 360 flip, impossible, and many, many others. He began skating at the age of eight against his father's wishes and had little more than the garage on the family farm to practice in, and yet he would end up becoming the most dominant competitor the sport has ever seen. He won his first championship at the age of 14, and over the next decade, he won 34 out of 35 freestyle contests. His impact on the art and industry of skating simply cannot be overstated. And that's why he's known today as the godfather of modern street skating. Now, this may come as a surprise to you. Skateboarding can be hard on your body. <laughs> What distinguishes you is rarely your gifts, but it's how you apply them and your ability to handle failure, because there's a lot of it. I'd like to share a little bit about that and how it shapes us in return, because I think it transcends skateboarding. My own fear of failure and the expectations of others weighed heavy, which forced me to focus on consistency rather than striving after new ideas, which is really what drove me from the start. And that part's more insidious than you might seem, because in order to to sustain that level for that long, like at that high, that edge, you have to pull for something deeper. A child prodigy who was told he had to quit. A shy personality that was thrust into the public spotlight. A mind that has created an almost endless number of tricks, but is still never satisfied. Rodney Mullen is probably the most influential skateboarder Ever. Rodney changed everything in skateboarding. Yeah. All of our building blocks to build up all of our modern day tricks came from him. His latest endeavor is no less contradictory. The godfather of street skateboarding is now a technology and design keynote speaker. How can the context, how can the environment change the very nature of what I do? So you drive and drive and drive. And actually, I gotta admit this because I, I was struggling with this because I'm here. But I'll just say it is I cannot tell you, not only to be here in front of you, but what a privilege it is to be at USC campus because I have been escorted off of this campus so many times. Different skill sets do things for different people. Point being is the beauty of skating of all things, all shapes, sizes for the most part. It's this admixture. It's everybody has a unique set of variables that they can put in place and express their individual identity in a form of, call it greatness. That's something to be remembered. That's what you look for. You have to appreciate that they got Rodney Mullen to stunt double Christian Slater. I mean, we all have to just sort of accept it because he's, he is a genius. Only from the mind of Rodney Mullen. That's why he's truly the godfather of modern street skating. The Tony Hawk Pro Skater franchise showed their reverence by featuring his character for nearly a decade. That is Tony Hawk. Watching him practice is more demonstrative of his physical genius than even seeing him roll away just the highlights because you see how quickly he locks in on that stuff, how easy he is with it all. That ramp is huge to begin with, and he stacks a seven-foot ladder on top of that, which is such a recipe for pain. And you can see how he falls. If anything, he's moderately bored, irritated, and I know Tony well. One of his gifts, he's so smart. So he's already leapfrogging forward as to how to make the adjustments to make the trick. It's often said that the best skaters are the best fallers. And yeah, that's largely true. Not always the case, but one thing's for sure, you're going to be familiar with it or else you're not going to go far. Well, what's the central attribute? What's working with that? It's, well, quick reactions, that helps. What are the components of that? Whether you're building a better light bulb or landing a rocket, success and failure take many different forms. For us, sometimes we have to heal up for months before we get another shot at a trick that may have taken us out. One dude, he needed surgery on his toe, so consumed by a video deadline, he just told his doctor to cut it off. <laughs> That's when his doctor explained to him that 
without that toe, he'd have to learn to just walk again. Point being, like, these stories abound because pressure distorts reality. And the better we're able to detach from it, the more clarity we get on how to manage failure to make it sustainable, to learn to navigate these unknowns. Falling is so integrated into us, a lot of people don't fall as much as we do in every level. And where falling becomes normal, and picking yourself up again is normal. And I think that the kind of resilience that skaters have is uncommon. By what we learn from getting up again and again, it changes you. And the culture that we create of guys who just go out and put it on the line, that imbues into you, whether you know it or not, that shapes how you look at things and the next thing you know you're doing it, to reach into the unknown and to do what's not safe or guaranteed. This is what you guys do all the time. It comes from getting up. The level to which he is driven by obsession, by desperation of his own admission that there are just things that he absolutely must make come true in his life. And the notion of turning inward, the notion of shutting out the noise and going inside of yourself to create, to build something new, to break through the barriers of disbelief, to be able to create in your mind a willingness to believe that you can do something that is possible, for me, is the ultimate intoxication. It's the ultimate thing that each of us should try to be chasing. And then to have that wrapped inside somebody whose only finish line is to be a good man is pretty extraordinary. What it is, is that there's an intrinsic value in creating something for the sake of creating it. And better than that, because man, I'm 46 year old, or I'll be 46, and how pathetic is that that I'm still skateboarding? But there is, there is this beauty in dropping it into a community of your own making and seeing it dispersed and seeing younger, more talented, just different talent. Take it to levels you can never imagine because that lives on. So thank you for your time. <laughs> <laughs>